this week's video, I plan to take you with me as I make a whole bunch of meals and food for my family of six. I have not really done a video like this in a good long while, but hopefully this will give you some inspiration. Uh, I plan to share some Amish style recipes. If you are new to the channel, I am currently, we are Mennonite and I grew up Amish. And so some of these recipes are things that I grew up with as a child. I'm also trying a custard pie for the first time as far as making it myself. I am also doing a rhubarb dessert. And then there's some other summery type recipes. There's a good salad, just a, a good variety I would say. Hopefully this video will be helpful in some way. I will have recipes in the description box or links to recipes and then also there's some of the stuff that I'm making. I'm not going into a lot of detail in this video because I've already covered it previously in other videos. So make sure you check out my cooking playlist. I've got a lot of content in that playlist for you if you're needing, you know, more inspiration and then also just referencing some of the stuff I'm making. So getting into what I'm making here is a barbecue style meatballs something that is pretty easy you could easily also turn it into meatloaf and honestly this recipe was really really good I was not necessarily expecting it to just be that great for some reason but it really was and it's it's something that I hadn't had like a go-to recipe yet and I feel like this one was definitely a winner uh, my family really enjoyed it as well and then to go with that I am doing a parsley potatoes some people would call them like parsley like new potatoes like the smaller ones so basically I am just cooking those and then I'll put butter and a mixture of spices and stuff on it and then just roast it in the oven a little bit more custard pie was actually a very last minute decision. I decided to quick try it. I had some uh, Pillsbury pie crusts in the fridge already for a while. Sometimes I make my own, but I'm not necessarily the most skilled at making pie crusts. I do it, but it's definitely something that's not as natural for me. So I was like, you know what? I have these, why don't I try it? And honestly, they're usually pretty good, but a from scratch pie crust would be really, really good. So do whatever works for you. Uh, my grandma told me, I was telling her that I made a custard pie and she said, did you heat the milk? I was like, yeah, I did because that's what the recipe called for. And she said, oh, well, you don't have to. I was like, oh, interesting. So let me know if you heat your milk for custard. So apparently it's something that isn't actually always necessary. I don't know the science behind it or why, but you know, if my grandma says it, I'm tending to believe her probably. <laughs> so this turned out actually really, really good. The boys were not a big fan of custard uh, or the custard pie. I don't, I guess it's just the, the taste of it. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really have that much taste to be honest, but my husband and I really both enjoyed it and it's great with ice cream. So yeah, I am just putting it on a sheet pan here in the oven to just avoid any spills. So meanwhile, our dinner was pretty much ready and it turned out to be a really big hit. I just added some canned green beans as well just to get in a bit of a veggie and we devoured them pretty quickly. out running errands all day and I put the roast in this morning 
So I was out of a few things. I was out of black pepper. I was out of onions or white onions at least and Worcestershire sauce. So I am adding onions, carrots, Worcestershire and some black pepper. Now it's like 1.30 or a little past and that'll give it time to kind of set in yet a little bit until tonight for dinner. Also gonna make some mashed potatoes, I think, uh, to go with this. A lot of times we'll do like baked potatoes with sour cream and cheese, but since we just had that this week also, I'm gonna do mashed potatoes. That pairs really well with roast as well. So, I don't know, I feel like roast is something that's really easy to do and it all kind of depends on your meat. <laughs> Sometimes it's good and moist and just delicious and other times I don't do anything different and it's just kind of dry and not very good. So I find the best luck with chuck roasts has I think some fat with it and stuff but that's usually what I gravitate towards when I'm doing that. So hopefully it'll be good tonight and I'll let it cook for a little while longer. I just had it on low so far and it the house smells pretty good. Trace and dogs have in common. They both have bark. Duh. This is the best catch in NFL history. So right now I am browning some butter to put on top. That is the most amazing part of mashed potatoes in my opinion. You just cook butter until it starts to brown like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and then I'll just pour it over top of the potatoes. I don't have a ton of footage of the potatoes because for some reason my camera was not focusing, but I this is one recipe that I have very much done in depth in like one or two other videos, so I'll just let you go watch those if you need actual instructions. Now I'm gonna heat them back up on the stove just a little bit to get them hot, and then I think we'll be ready for dinner. I added the butter to the potatoes, so yummy. Ugh. And then I drained some of the broth from the roast beef, but this one appears like it should be good, but we'll find out soon. I also added some carrots and stuff this afternoon, so I'm almost ready to eat. So on the menu tonight is gonna to be grilled chicken. I'm just marinating it in my Italian dressing. I honestly had been going back and forth all day long trying to figure out what I wanted to make. <laughs> I'm gonna do roasted sweet potatoes. I saw it on Instagram. There's a, an account I follow. I really like her account. It's called Tello and Rose, I think. And I'm gonna do sheet pan style sweet potatoes, so roasted. And then I also had been wanting to make the Jennifer Aniston salad again that I had shown in another video here lately. And my chicken is not gonna be able to marinate very long. It's just maybe a couple hours max, but it should be fine. I'll just grill that. Let me know if you've tried this salad before. I don't know why, but it is such a like refreshing salad. I think I said that in the last video too, but I was kind of craving it again and I decided I'm gonna make it and it's just, it's really good. Definitely different, but it's really good.
I really enjoyed this meal. It was very light and summery and the sweet potatoes turned out amazing. So definitely heat up your pan beforehand like she suggested. Uh, the chicken was pretty good as well. So I'd say overall, it was a win. Okay, so I almost didn't film this video because it's literally so easy and basic, but uh, it's Friday night and I just don't cook very big meals on the weekends usually. And that's kind of how we grew up as well. It was like, well, you got to the end of the week and you're just like kind of done cooking. And so easy is really the, the way to go for us. So I had some non flatbreads on hand and that's a great way to just make really easy pizzas. So that's what we did. So I'm making a rhubarb dessert and we love this. I usually try to make it once or twice when rhubarb is in season. I am able to get it at Detweiler's. We don't have any that I, you know, can grow here, but I know a lot of you guys do. So this recipe was a hit. I would say definitely, uh, probably a nine out of 10. I think the crust was plenty thick, but otherwise I loved it. I also wanna take this time to thank Walnut Creek Foods for sponsoring today's video. They are based in Amish country up in Berlin. Uh, they have their headquarters there. They also have two stores that you can visit. So this summer will be prime tourist season up there, I know, and so many of you guys go up there and visit as well as ourselves. Uh, we usually make a trip up to Ohio at some point during the summer and we're looking forward to doing that uh, sometime. We don't have exact plans, but uh, we usually make a stop at Walnut Creek Cheese. That's their store locations and the name of it. Uh, it's definitely a fun destination to go to. They have a lot of deli meats, cheeses. They have an in-house bakery. They've got all kinds of bulk foods. They have fresh foods. I uh, just I think they have a meat counter. It's it's quite interesting. So I definitely recommend you go stop in there if you're in the area. And I know the locals shop there quite a bit too. You can also shop for them online uh, using my discount code Lynette for 10% off your online order if you don't have any near you. I've mentioned a lot in the past that they do ship a lot of their stuff to other bulk food stores and maybe little grocery stores, just convenience type places. Uh, with a lot of their products they might supply some of them so look for their logo they're actually updating their logo to a new a fresher one but i think it still has a buggy on it so definitely be on the lookout for that you'll see in this video a few times i have some of their products i'm able to find some of them locally but sometimes i'll place an online order as well go check out my description box for the link and let me know what your favorite product is from there So Kaden requested um, burgers as one meal this week, and I think I'm gonna do sort of like smash burgers. Uh, I had received this book for my Mother's Day gift, part of it, and Joanna has a smash burgers recipe in here. So there's a smash sauce, which I'm not sure I have dill relish. I might have some type of relish, so we'll see once. and. Basically, I'm not going to put like all of the toppings on the burgers and we're probably not going to do like double. So it's more just like I'm going to use the smash sauce and just add like a fun twist to it and the rest of the burger is going to be pretty normal. I'm also just going to be using frozen burgers that I have in the freezer. I want to try and use those up. Obviously, they're probably be better if you can make them yourself, but I don't have like a super good burger recipe anyway. So I'm gonna use those, um, but you can do whatever you want as far as that goes. So if I can, I'll try to link a smash sauce. Maybe it won't be this one specifically, but I can link the book just because obviously it's not my recipe, so I don't have rights to it. Uh, it's just early afternoon, but I'm kind of doing some things in the kitchen anyway, so I might as well put that together. That way it's done. Okay, 
Say hi. Can you say hi? Say hi. Can you say hi? Yay! Say night night. Say night night. <laughs> I also made a batch of granola, a double batch actually, so I was able to put some in the freezer and I love that it lasts longer and granola is just so good. You can have it with yogurt, you can eat it with milk. That's mostly how I eat it honestly, but I really, really like it and I just feel like it's a healthier cereal. Okay, so this is the smash sauce and typical me, <laughs> I didn't really follow the recipe very much because I didn't have mayo, so I used Miracle Whip. I did not have dill relish, but I had like a sweet relish, so I put that in. And let's see, I added some Chick-fil-A sauce to it <laughs> because I tasted it and I was like, it's just kind of ketchup-y. So you have like ketchup, mustard, mayo is supposedly, dill relish, and you have green onion and some uh, pepper and salt. And then that's like the basis of the smash sauce. And then I decided to add in some Chick-fil-A sauce. So I guess I can probably write it out for you guys because I changed several ingredients. So <laughs> we'll see. Don't do what I did and forget about the buns on the grill. <laughs> Oops. But ask me for the The burgers were a hit. I really enjoyed it and I think the whole family enjoyed it very much. So definitely, uh, probably maybe an eight out of 10. Oh. Good job. How are the burgers? I was sitting here working on my video, editing it, and I was like, I don't even have an ending. So, this is the ending. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed just kind of picking up the camera and filming if I was doing something anyway. It works out great. Right now, it can be a little interesting trying to film with everyone at home, summer vacation and everything, but this worked out pretty well. My meals are generally pretty simple. Hopefully I gave you some inspiration. Make sure you go check out the description box for the links and recipes. It's right underneath the title of my video. There's a little like more button. If you press that, it will open up into a box. And also make sure you go check out Walnut Creek Foods in the description box as well if you haven't or visit them in stores in Holmes County. We're gonna be doing a lot of traveling in the next couple weeks and I will be filming hopefully at least some of that. So stay tuned for that. Also giving you an update on my sister Kara. Uh, her pregnancy. So hopefully in the next video I can do a little bit of that and take you along with us to South Carolina. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting us. It means a lot. See ya.